Unless you are living under a rock, there is 0% chance that you missed all the hottest K-pop news this week. First off, Snoop Dogg just dropped some spoilers about his collaboration with BTS, and armies are thrilled to finally hear updates about the anticipated collab. SM is once again in the hot seat after getting dragged for allegedly mistreating NCT's 10, and fans are starting to demand SM to bring the idol back to Korea. I will also give you the latest development about Blackpink's rumored June comeback, but it seems like YG Entertainment is ready to hand fans a broken heart after they basically released a statement saying otherwise. If you're ready, buckle up and let's get started. So Snoop Dogg just confirmed that all his parts for the most anticipated collab of the year are in. Like literally done. What's the latest with the BTS single? You gotta talk it in, but uh, my parts are in. Oh, excited. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> The rapper dropped his massive spoiler during his interview with The Buzz and fans just got super excited after. The Drop It Like It's Hot performer first spoke about the upcoming collaboration in his interview with Mogul Talk way back in February of this year. And just like that, the rapper confirmed that the song is already in the works. Despite sharing updates about the song, he didn't talk about when the actual release will happen, and fans were left to wonder when the possible dates will be. Army Twitterverse can't stop talking about it though, and fans even coined the word Snutan, which is a unit name of some sort. Fans even pointed out how excited Snoop was when he started talking about the project. This army can't help but comment about his energy on this tweet saying, Oh, he's hyped. Oh, I'm jumping up the walls. Well, that makes two of us, and I hope the boys share their side of the story and won't make us wait for too long. Moving on, a Korean media outlet gave a new update about the controversial lawsuit against Jessica Jung and her brand Blanc and Eclair, and it seems like the storm is finally starting to settle. The former Girl Generation member was accused of not paying millions worth of debt last year, hence the lawsuit against her and the brand. However, her boyfriend Tyler Kwan shared with Tozan that they successfully agreed to settle and everything is getting sorted out, but he cannot give more details because there is a very strict confidentiality clause between the parties involved. This didn't stop Tyler from sharing his displeasure about the hate his girlfriend went through during the lawsuit. The CEO and businessman expressed how unfair it was for his partner and that Jessica received so much hate because she is a celebrity. He continued by saying, quote, if you look at the articles related to Jessica that have been published that time, you can find titles like Jessica who hasn't paid back 8 billion won. It was really frustrating and difficult every time. It wasn't the money that Jessica borrowed, it was borrowed by the company. Jessica didn't release a statement about the matter, but she is expected to make her first appearance after the lawsuit in a Chinese survival show, Sisters Who Make Waves. And her fans can't wait to finally see her back on stage. Thankfully, this nightmare is already over and I wish nothing but the best for Jessica and her brand in the future. Next up, YG Entertainment finally responded to the comeback rumors involving Blackpink, but it's not what Blinks expected especially after YG basically denied the possibility of a June comeback. The statement was made on April 27th when a representative from the company spoke with the media outlet Sports Trend to address the ongoing rumors. Speaking about the matter, YG said Blackpink's comeback schedule has not yet been decided. As for Blackpink's comeback in June, many people are only speculating it that way, but it is not an official announcement from us. Ouch. That really hurt, especially after fans had their hopes high for the past few days, only to be told that Blackpink won't be out from the dungeon. And who knows how long they will stay there. This is why Blinks got super mad at YG and honestly, I already lost count of the number of times the company upset the fans. This Blink even shared how she wasn't even surprised when the company shut down all the comeback rumors, while another fan tweeted that she will never stand a group from YG because of how bad they are in handling their idols. However, it seems like there is still hope at the end of this endless tunnel after an article from a Korean media site once again revealed that Blackpink is indeed gearing up for a comeback and that the girls will most likely return during the third quarter of this year. To make things even better, the very same article also mentioned that the group will embark on a world tour, will a plan of more than 50 concerts until the first half of 2023. YG had kept 
months since the article has released. So let's just wait for another official statement and hopefully they confirm this time around. Speaking of a comeback, Espa's Ning Ning just made a very savage comeback to their haters after her group was criticized for their Coachella performance. Espa's performance for the music festival was the target of hate after the confirmation was released, but the girls proved that they could put out an amazing show. Even the stage director during the performance can't help but be in awe of their live vocals, but haters were still at it. This is why Ning Ning said enough is enough and clapped back at people who were throwing negativity at them. The group's Magne shared via bubble messaging app and communicated with their fans who were super excited about their Coachella performance. Ning Ning shared behind the scenes by saying, quote, Also, all four of us seriously prepare for this performance. Our goal was to have fun with our fans, and we did that. The Magne didn't forget to address their haters and discreetly mentioned these bitter people through her messages where she said, quote, But if you look at us with bias, I just want to say we're doing what we like to do. We don't have time to pay attention to those who hate us, but hopefully those people can also find things that they like to do and do them. Life's too short. Seems like we have another Magne on top in the making, but honestly, I'm glad she gave them a piece of her mind since hateful people like that won't stop until they're told to stop. Next up, Ichi's Yuna is raising concern after pictures of her looking terrifyingly skinny made rounds on the internet and netizens are calling JYP's attention about their idol's health. We all know how unreal Korea's beauty standards are. This is why female idols usually go on extreme diets just to maintain their figure. However, Kanets are getting worried about Yuna's situation. In the photo mentioned, the idol looks extremely unhealthy. Yes, the idol is pretty well known for being on the skinny side, but fans pointed out that she became skinnier recently, that even her rib cage is peeking through and it's not a pretty sight to look at. The picture was from a fan cam taken during Itchy's fan meeting, which happened last April 9th. Soon enough, comments expressing their concern about the idol situation flooded the video. Most netizens pointed out how a teenager shouldn't look this bony with others expressing their displeasure about the strict diet her agency must have forced her into. Despite the ongoing controversy, other fans aren't convinced about the picture, and some even said that it's definitely edited or was affected by the lighting. However, this fan thinks otherwise and insists that Yuna is suffering from severe malnutrition. However, fans slammed Keenets for body shaming the idol. Speaking in defense of Yuna, this Michi expressed her anger with her tweet saying, quote, this is absolutely disgusting. Poorly timed screenshots are actually convincing some people she has an ED. I ask that you keep this young woman's name out of your mouth. I hope by God's grace she doesn't see this or hasn't seen it already. Leave Yuna alone. Lastly, and citizens are calling out SM Entertainment for allegedly mistreating Ten. The idol is currently in China and is set to participate as team leader of the popular variety show The Great Dance Crew. However, there were delays in the filming of the show due to COVID-19 restrictions, which is why 10 must stay longer and ultimately missed a lot of NCT promotions in Korea. Fans also started worrying about his health and mental stability because he has to be in isolation until filming resumes. Soon enough, the hashtags SM treat 10 better and bring 10 back to Korea trended on Twitter as fans cry foul about the unfair treatment and everyone is criticizing SM for not thinking about their idol's well-being. Speaking more about the issue, this fan tweeted saying, quote, Why does someone have to sacrifice so much to get so little, let alone the better treatment 10 deserves? Now at SM, can't even provide him the proper fundamental needs. I'm beyond disgusted. Hashtag SM treat 10 better. Personally, I believe it's better to fly 10 back to Korea where his members are. Who knows what isolation can do to a person's mental health. If SM really cares about their artists, they should take action as soon as possible. How about you? Do you think Blackpink will finally make a comeback this year? What do you think about Yuna? Should 10 return to Korea? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned for more. See you!